Hey everybody, welcome back to World Building with DM Dave. I'm DM Dave, and this episode we're going to start building a, a regional map using a tool card Incarnate. Incarnate, you can get at incarnate.com, that's I-N-K-A-R-N-A-T-E. I'll have a link down uh, below that you can click. Uh, Incarnate's a pretty cool tool for creating full color regional maps, has a lot of really nifty features, probably one of the best tools on the market. Um, when I got it, it was free and I had an upgrade. I'm not sure what the cost is nowadays, but I imagine it's pretty affordable. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click create a new map. And I'm going to pick my style of map as being a fantasy regional map, which gives you kind of like trees and stuff like that. If you wanted to create some other stuff like a battle map or um, like a town, you can also do that as well. I'm going to change to a custom size of 25 by 25 because that'll end up fitting kind of perfectly into roll 20, which is what I want. It's going to give me, when I'm starting off, this big um, blue area here, which is going to be more or less water. I'm actually going to want to hunt fill that with land. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool here. You can zoom out by hitting your scroll or adjusting your scroll bar on your um, mouse. I'm going to highlight the whole thing and then hit enter, which will fill the whole spot with uh, land. Okay. Then I'm actually going to dig some of it out. Uh, I'm going to actually want to subtract a little bit so I can get um, some water in there. I know, like, I'm basically creating the items that my party looked for the uh, um, the other day. So I need to create uh, Brimsey Rise, which is the name of the mountain in which the Megadelve is set, and also the town of St. John, where their base of operations is. And then I probably want to stick in some other features as well. But those are the two main ones I need. Um, also, I need it so that the river flows past St. John in its south and then goes into Brimsey Rise and then reemerges and probably empties out into an ocean. Since I had everything set up from um, St. John is in the east and Brimsey Rise is in the west, I probably want to put an ocean down in uh, our bottom and corner um, or at least somewhere on the western side of the map. So I'm going to click on my subtract tool here. I've got my edgy shape, which gives me uneven edges, which is good for drawing um, uh, coastlines and stuff. I'm going to crank up my size a bunch. And then I'm just going to start. Actually, let's turn on our grid too. I'm going to show my grid. I'm going to put on hexes. Go back to my uh, mask tool. And then just start drawing in the coastline here. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be enough to get the point across that this is a coastline. Maybe give it a little bit more random edges. That's it. That's all I want. I don't really need much more water than that. Maybe I'll put a random lake or something. Uh, but for now, I just want to be able to get the basic features in. All right, next up, uh, I need to get Brimsy Rise in there somewhere. So I need a mountain. So I'm click Stamps. I'm going to open up my catalog. Even though I like those brown mountains, I actually want one that looks a little bit older and is covered in green. So let's take a green mountain small. I'm going to pick, uh, let's see which one looks a little bit more weathered and interesting. All right, I think this one's pretty good. Let's go ahead and put, uh, we'll put Brimsy Rise about here. Now in this map, each hex is going to equal one mile. And actually, I'm going to adjust the size of my hexes so it's not so big. Let's go down to 20. Now, in my game, it took the characters about three hours to reach Brimsy Rise from St. John. In D&D, &D, in the uh, Travel Pace Guide, in the Player's Handbook, um, it takes roughly a party one hour to go three miles. So that's what we're going to do there. We're going to make it, um, since it took them three hours, there's nine miles away from the town. So I'm going to go back to my stamps, and I'm going to go click up in here. We're going to open up a town. I'm going to pick, I think this human town's pretty good. You can see it's going to come out kind of big. I don't need it that big, obviously. So we are going to do 25. And then I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to count away nine tiles uh, from this. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There, I think that's a good spot there. Next up, I got to draw our river. That's really the last detail that I have. So I've got Brimsey Rise here. It's kind of the big important uh, mountain. I kind of want it standing out on its own. 
and there needs to be a river that flows kind of this way. So again, I'm going to grab my uh, subtraction tool. I'm going to bring down the size a whole bunch on this so it's nice and small. And then I'm just going to um, draw. So I'll start underneath it here. Move, do some kind of serpentine ways here. Have it so it goes to Brimsy Rise like that. And then it re-emerges on the other side. Kind of weird, but um, that's the way Dyson drew it, and that's the way we're going to do it. And I'll add in a few more different areas here for uh, uh, like an estuary type deal. Okay, and I think that's all we need. Now we have to have it come from a logical source, so we're going to do, I'm going to curve this around a little bit more. We'll have it run off the map and probably go into like a mountain range or something. So actually that's a good idea. Let's put a mountain range there. So I'm going to go back to my stamp tool. I'm going to go, I'm going to open up my normal catalog and uh, let's look again for mountains. Let's do larger mountains this time. So Brimsy Rise, if you remember, was um, a little bit, uh, like it's a little bit more weathered. It's been around a little longer. Let's give us some bigger mountains here. And we can really amp these up. I think 75 would be a good size. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put in, and what's cool is um, I've got it on the random stamps. So every time I click, it's going to put a different one, and it's automatically going to layer them for me, too. Let's sit there. Pretty impressive little mountain range here. Um, a little bit older mountain range, I think, is what I'm going for. Okay. And uh, let's give him some foothills too. So I'm going to go back into my catalog. I'm going to open up hill. Let's do some green hills. Make sure they're the right size. Yeah, it looks good. This is an area tool here. So if I crank this up a little bit more, what it does is it increases my brush size. And then it just paints in mountains with or in the hills with it. So we can have some nice foothills here. Don't want it going over my... Uh, river so let's do whoops let's get my hills back <laughs> when i originally got incarnate it didn't have a, an undo uh it didn't have an undo feature <laughs> I, I would talk to the developers and they're like what would you really like i was like uh, an undo feature would be hella nice because you had to like manually delete everything that you didn't want all right i think that looks pretty cool why don't we put in a few other random hills maybe some actually around brimsy rise too there yeah, i think that looks pretty cool let's scroll out and see how we're looking so far i think that looks awesome okay um let's go ahead so i think i mentioned that there's another town and if actually there should be a town just a little bit west of Brimsy Rise. It's like uh, old ruins, I think. So let's um let's add some ruins over there. Let me double check Dyson's maps. But if I remember correctly, there's a necropolis on the western side. Yeah, you see this here. So let's go ahead and add that in. Just open up again. We're gonna type in ruins. There we go. They're desert ruins, but for for our purposes, they will be little town ruins. And we just got to put these right here. Cool. All right, everybody, we've put in our basic features for this. I'm going to go ahead and in this episode here, next time we're going to go and look in the DMG and start coming up with some... Uh, some more random features for us to put in but i think this is a good start i think we'll put in a few more things for the characters to interact with but they've got a great starter town here as well as the ruins and of course the uh the brimsy mega delve where they're going in um but yeah check out incarnate it's an awesome product um be sure to like and subscribe us of, uh, of course and if you're interested in reading some of my cool adventures including um vasco valley which should be out by now 
go ahead and check out patreon.com forward slash DM Dave. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.